If you are like me, you dip your grilled cheese sandwich into your tomato soup. So why not put it all together and step it up a notch? I'm Tess, and I'm going to show you how I make my gourmet grilled cheese tomato soup. You don't want to miss this one. Stay tuned. We are in the prime of tomato season, and this grilled cheese tomato soup will help use up some of those extra tomatoes. You can use any tomato for this recipe, but today I'm using Roma tomatoes. I cleaned, cored, and halved the tomatoes, and I'm placing in a bowl along with a half a sweet onion and three large cloves of garlic, a quarter teaspoon each of salt and black pepper, and about two to three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil drizzled over the top, giving that a good but gentle mix to get all the tomatoes nice and coated. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees, and I'm pouring the tomatoes onto a parchment lined baking sheet. I'm making enough soup for two to three people, so I'm using enough tomatoes to cover the baking sheet. Positioning the tomatoes in a single layer cut side up. These are going into the oven on the top rack for 45 minutes to an hour, or until they're soft and have a slight char to the edges. By roasting tomatoes, it brings out the caramelized natural sweetness and the flavor intensifies. Remember we are making a gourmet tomato soup and we want the best flavor possible. Letting the tomatoes fully cool and we are ready to make the soup. In my soup pot on medium heat, I'm adding in all the tomatoes, onions, and don't forget the roasted garlic. I'm adding in a total of one quart of chicken broth, turning my heat up to bring this up to a simmer. You could totally keep this vegetarian by using vegetable broth or water. I'm also boosting the flavor with one teaspoon of better than chicken bouillon and one tablespoon of tomato paste for an even more enhanced tomato flavor, bringing this up to a simmer and cooking for five minutes. Now we want to make this a smooth tomato soup, and I'm using my hand blender. I also want to add some fresh herbs while blending. For this amount of soup, I have about six fresh basil leaves and one sprig of oregano from my garden, and I will add more to the soup later, giving that a good blending until smooth. You can certainly add dried herbs, but fresh is better. You can add any herbs or spices that you like, and even kick the heat up with some cayenne powder. Tonight I'm keeping it simple. I have my heat on medium and I tasted the soup. I'm adding a pinch more of salt, one teaspoon of sugar to balance out the tomatoes, and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, giving that a good stir and bringing up to a simmer and cooking for two minutes. Now I'm adding in the other half of the fresh herbs and cooking for another two minutes and we are ready for the final step and almost ready to eat. This recipe makes two large bowls or four cups of gourmet tomato soup, rich and very flavorful. If you wish, you can thin the soup with more broth or even some cream or half and half. We like it the way it is. To take this soup to the next level, I'm adding the grilled cheese sandwich on top. I have some homemade croutons that I season with some salt, pepper, garlic and onion powder, and drizzled with melted butter, just like you would on a grilled cheese. And just like in French onion soup, you have to have that yummy top layer of cheese, only in this case we are using cheddar cheese, and a nice amount. Don't be stingy. This is going into a 375 degree oven for a couple minutes or until the cheese is melted and bubbly. And that is my gourmet grilled cheese tomato soup. This recipe is a definite keeper. I'm already thinking about baking another batch. If you remember earlier, I said about possibly adding some cream. I think the cheese serves this purpose and adds the creaminess to the soup to mellow it out and bring it all together. The croutons are a nice texture and they add some bulkiness to the soup. A refreshing, delicious, comforting soup all in one. 
I hope you give my recipe a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button to receive my future recipes. Please feel free to share my channel with your friends and family. It really helps my channel grow and it is greatly appreciated. And until next time, much love.